Yo, yo, YouTube. So I'll be going on on how to receive the maximum number of faints in Monster Hunter World. Tired of dying? Well, I can't help you. But tired of losing because you died? I can help you. So let's get it. The first thing we're going to do is see how many ingredients you already possess. First, go ahead and take them glutes on over to the canteen and see what ingredients you have. We're looking for ingredients in the red fork and knife tree. These are the protector ingredients. You'll see I have butter brew, fortified honey wine, and entrancing alembic. I'll be going over how to get these, as well as the ones I'm missing. Now there are three question marks. One is Great Horn's Gulp, one is Auspicious Ale, and the other is Tequila Del Locos. So first you're going to head over to Kitty Babushka Chef and see if she has a quest for you. If she does not have an exclamation point above her head, she probably does not have a quest for you right now. You need to go to the handler and see the quests after you talk to her. So go to the optional quests at the handler and then you're going to look in Master Rank 1. There should be one quest called Trapping the Tree Trasher. This will award you Great Horn's Gulp and Auspicious Ale. You can see below on the bottom right canteen ingredients added upon first completion. You will also need a Twisted Stout Horn at the end of this to turn in for a delivery. If you do not have a Twisted Stout Horn, please go knock the horns off Diablos. You do not have to kill Diablos, you just have to get the horns. It is fairly simple if you use a heavy weapon. You should be able to break both horns in about a minute with a temporal mantle and a pitfall trap. Now go snatch that bond bro. After acquiring the bond bro, you will receive another quest from Grand Meowster Babushka. She will now give you a Nightshade Palumu. This will be an optional quest called Nightly Nightshade. After capturing the Nightshade Palumu, you want to head back to Seliana and then pick up the delivery from Grand Meowster Babushka. She will give you a delivery to deliver one stout horn to the resource center. After depositing your horn to the cute French lady, you want to head back to the canteen. The delivery itself will be called Lively Spirits. Now head back to the canteen and I'll show you two things. So whenever you eat a prepared meal from any option like the chef's choice or the meat platter, the food skills are in fact randomized. However, there is something called a daily skill. One daily skill is feline insurance. Despite what you look up on the internet, feline insurance and feline safeguard are two different skills. So we will be activating the feline insurance first. It is a randomized skill. So whenever you have it, that is when you can stack it with safeguard, which I will go over as well. I have loaded into an Elatrion to show you the skill as you die first with Elatrion. The first faint that you suffer will be nullified if you have a Vigor Wasp recovery gadget on your Palico. It has something called Vigor Wasp Revive, which can be used once an encounter when you die. As you can see on the right, it says, receive the effects of skill Feline Insurance. And as you can see, whenever I open up the quest notes, on the right hand side you can see 0 out of 3 faints, even though I did just faint, giving us 2 faints so far. Now you'll notice earlier I ate Chef's Choice. Whenever you're looking at one of your food options, it will tell you if it will give you Feline Insurance. This will prompt you to know that you should try this hack inside of Monster Hunter at that time. Another thing you must be aware of, whenever you use this hack, you must use a gourmet voucher. This is what they're for. They give you a 100% chance activation on random food skills. So whenever we go into the custom platter and make our own food skill with a gourmet voucher, it will give us a feline safeguard. So now that we have eaten for feline safeguard, which can be done inside of the mission, the mission's canteen, unless it's a special arena, this is how you would add this on top of the other effect. Now if we head over to Ye old Smithy, we can look at some armor skills that I would like to show you. Now there is an armor skill called Guts. Guts, if you are over a health threshold of 64 hit points, it will instead of killing you, leave you at one hit point, giving you an extra chance to live. 
It is important to note that if you have both guts and the feline revive, the guts will trigger first, and then the feline revive will trigger the second time you die. There are five ways to acquire guts in the game, although here I only depict two. The first, any Lunastra weapon from the Blaze Tree, Basilgeist Protection, which is three pieces from regular Basilgeist, equipping two pieces of Seething Basilgeist will give you guts, Culve to Roth gives you guts with two pieces, and there is a, a gutsy charm that is obtained from a Master Rank optional quest, The Perfect Room, which is the house cat person. Next, we're going to look at Horfrost Reach, and by happen chance, Horfrost Reach might be having a flourishing of bitter burrs, which mine does not, so I'm going to show you a most likely easier way. Once again, go to the cute French lady. Sometimes investigations have flourishings on them as well, and you should check all of your Horfrost investigations for flourishing bitter burrs. Here I happen to have one for a Savage Devil Joe. I don't have to fight the Savage Devil Joe, I'm just going to go into the investigation and show you where to find these ingredients. You'll want to start at Camp 12 and then make your way northeast of Area 13. Latch yourself onto the Wedge Beetles and get there. You'll have to do a little bit of parkour, but just follow what I do in the video. You can skip ahead through the timestamps if you want to skip this part, if you already know how to get to the top of the area. You can skip to the next part of the video. I'll have timestamps. YouTube doesn't have timestamps immediately, but it'll be there eventually. But maybe not if you watch this video like an hour after it comes out. I'll do some Monster Hunter trivia just so y'all aren't bored while you wait for this video. So Monster Hunter has sold 100 million copies amongst all titles. The least popular of which being the Monster Hunter story. Kind of a half-baked Monster Hunter RPG. Once you get to this little vent thing, you then just have to wait for the vent to gust you up. You don't need the glider mantle here. I'm just trying to be cool. So once you finally get up here, there are three bitter burr patches. Now the things you need from the bitter burrs are going to be an exquisite bitter burr, a millennium bitter burr, and something called a snow white. The Snow White specifically drops from one Bitter Burr patch in all of Horfrost. That's why you had to come up here. This patch right here will give you the Snow White. Now, after you get the Snow White, if you are missing either the Exquisite Butter Burr or the Millennium Butter Burr, you can just run around Horfrost gathering regular Butter Burrs. You don't have to stay here. The Snow White is a specific canteen ingredient, and there's actually one rare ingredient that spawns this way in every map location. So now that you have finally acquired all of the optional quests, the canteen ingredients, the Vigor Wasp Recovery, the Skill Guts, you have now have the capability to faint seven times in one match. So go get that Elatrion. Let's see him kill you seven times. And remember... The Feline Insurance is a random skill from the Canteen. Wait for that to show up before you start this stack of hacks. There's 5,000 ways to enjoy Monster Hunter, but only one way to like a video. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy your day.